months after the city cleared it out, the tents and the drugs have returned to the area known as Mass and Cass. And this time, businesses in that area say it's actually worse than before. WBZ's Tiffany Chan shows us why. If you walk around the park, you're going to find countless needles. You can hear the frustration in Domingo's DeRosa's voice looking out at Clifford Park in Roxbury. The field is about a half mile from the encampments that have returned to Massachusetts Avenue and Melnia Cass Boulevard. It won't take long to find the evidence of homelessness and addiction where DeRosa teaches Pop Warner football. I don't feel safe anymore because, again, a lot of these individuals are hallucinating. They're pulling out knives, um, they're using syringes as weapons, and they're becoming more and more violent. Despite attempts by the city to clean up Mass and Cass, the throngs of people have returned with their tents and umbrellas. Boston Mayor Michelle Wu's office says the warm weather brings more of the homeless outdoors, many openly using drugs as crews try to clean up the trash left behind. Businesses in Boston South End say it's pretty disheartening because the situation on Mass and Cass about a mile away hasn't gotten any better. They've cleaned it up and then the next day it's right back out there again. Um, we do have a lot of people coming in and into the alleyways and going to the bathroom and still leaving a lot of needles there. Since we spoke with the sandwich shop owner a couple years ago, Nicole Leo says she's still finding syringes in her planters. Officials describe this as a humanitarian crisis. Residents and business owners alike are losing hope for a solution. Do you think anything's going to be done in the next two years? I don't know. I don't know. Look how far we've gotten, really. Not very far in the last few years. From Boston, I'm Tiffany Chan, WBZ News.